Hey there, beautiful brands. I'm Alicia, founder of Pixie Stock and creator of Convert with Canva. Let's take this graphic from blah to brilliant in just a few steps. One of the first things I want to tackle is the overall look of this background. It's screaming out at us, am I right? But not in a good way. There's a bit too much information going on in this graphic. The background is way too colorful and I want to simplify that first. Remember the video I sent you a few days ago to uh, keep it simple? That's the model I live by when designing graphics in Canva. So in my course, Convert with Canva, I dive deeper into why keeping it simple is a conversion strategy and the formulas you can use to do this effectively. But as you can see right off the bat, you can see the difference in just the general quality of the graphic just by changing the background. So less is always more when it comes to designing. A lot of us use Playlist Script, the font in Canva, but there's a way to use it tastefully. Script and hammer and fonts can backfire on us because they're often hard to read. So if you're gonna use script fonts, remember to increase the text and the line spacing and give the copy room to breathe. So when I design in Canva, it's sort of this way. I create a rough draft of the graphic and I simply make sure all the important information is on the board. Then I go back in the end and tweak the design to make sure it makes visual sense, that it looks professional and that all of the correct elements were included. In my course Convert with Canva, I go over exactly what you need to include in event graphics particularly. Sometimes we like to copy stuff, that's what I call it, where we add way too much information and it doesn't translate to the reader, hence we get no conversions. We don't get those registrations or we don't get those signups to our event. So in this particular design, there's too much information. There's no mystery left to the reader because it's all given up front. So take out all that junk and then add it back in a way that doesn't give all the goodies away. So in my course, I talk about the difference between teasing the reader with your copy to make them curious, you know, to read the caption, rather than being too wordy and why this is important. Above all, make sure you're sharing the value. What's the reason why someone would get off their comfortable couch to go to your event, you know, whether it's in person or even if it's something like an online training? That value you must add in your graphic. Things like who's going to be there and guest speakers can be a graphic booster, but oftentimes they're unnecessary, especially if you're marketing to a cold audience. Those are people who have never heard of you or your brand and you're just trying to get that brand awareness. Focus on sharing the value and the benefit above everything else. A pet peeve of mine when I see event graphics is that the event details or logistics as I say are kind of screaming out at you. The date, the time, and the place, they're definitely important, but that's not what's going to get someone to attend your event. So don't major in these details. You should be giving less visual weight to this information. So minimize it, make it smaller, and don't crowd the graphic with it. This is called visual hierarchy, which I talk about in Convert with Canva. Call to actions are super important. Even if it's obvious, if you don't tell readers what to do, they won't take any action. Make that CTA large and in charge, front and center, in your face. This is where you boss your readers around a little bit by telling them what to do. Don't hide your CTA button and make it really tiny in the bottom corner somewhere. Make them see it.
So now we have the basis of this graphic. This is where I go back and I add some more design details. I call it design fluff. And I make sure all the elements are placed where I want it and I review it so it makes visual sense. I'll often change some of the shapes too to be a little more visually interesting as well and see if there's anything else that needs to be changed. So it's all about having that first rough draft and then going back in the end and adding more design details to making that graphic come alive, but then sticking with the colors and the style of your brand. So doesn't this graphic look 10 times better? Now we each have our own brand style, so there may be a different way that you design, but when it comes to getting this graphic to actually convert, this here is a winner. We've added the value, the call to action, and this graphic went from spam to yes ma'am, sign me up. Where's the registration link? <laughs> so I've been there guys, doing this consistently across an entire brand campaign can be daunting. For some campaigns, I've had to design multiple graphics and the thought of trying to make it all look cohesive on brand, but then actually get me the conversions that I want was a struggle. So if you don't do this right, you'll be spinning your wheels. Canva is a simple design program, but they have so many different design elements and it can be confusing about what exactly to choose and where to place them in the graphic so they make visual sense. Stick with me guys, I'm gonna help you with all of that and I'll be sharing more about my mini course, Convert with Canva, pretty soon.